hey guys welcome back to my channel this is mukami the environmentalist and today i'm going to talk to you about farm of experts who are entailed in an environmental farm of experts and what is an environmental farm of expert by the way what qualifications do you need if you want to register a farm of experts these are some of the things we are going to be discussing in this video but before we get there I want you to subscribe to my channel if you are watching and you have not subscribed. What is an environmental farm of experts? An environmental farm of experts is whereby two or more experts, practicing experts, come together and make a legal binding agreement to practice and work together. That is what I would refer to as a farm of experts. And who makes this farm of experts? At least two experts. And these two experts one of them must be a lead expert who is practicing. Practicing means he or she has a practicing license. And the second person should be an associate expert who is also practicing. So this is the simplest form of a farm of experts. These two people can register a farm of experts. A lead expert and an associate expert. It is not limited to the number of lead experts and associate experts that can come together to form a farm, but at least the lease is a lead expert and an associate expert. And these two people will be registered or they will register a company, an environmental company, the normal process of company registration, they will have the certificate of registration of incorporation, I mean, they will have the KRA pin, they will have the uh, tax compliance, they will have the uh, practicing licenses, their registration certificates, and all these certificates are the ones that they are going to need to apply for a certificate of registration by the National Environment Management Authority. So what I'm saying is that a lead expert and one associate expert can form an environmental company and register it with the National Environment Management Authority to practice or to be certified as a farm of experts. And then they can practice together as a company. I hope you know what that means. You're practicing, it's a company that is practicing, not you, it's a company. You're working for your company. And so if you're planning to register a farm of experts, what do you need? One, you need two experts, an associate and a lead expert. You need their practicing license. You need their registration certificate by NEMA. You will need their national IDs, the national identification card. Also, you'll need to have registered a company and by registering a company then, you will need your certificate of incorporation. Once you have your certificate of incorporation, you will have your KRA pin. You will also have your com tax compliance certificate. And then with this, you'll be able to apply for a registration certificate by the National Environment Management Authority. The process is done online. You do it online. Just like the way we have been doing with the associate expert, if you've not watched those videos, it's the best time to go and watch them. Then the same procedure you're going to use, we used to register an associate, is the same one you're going to use, but this time you're registering for a farm. And so the requirements you need to attach will be quite the other the, the requirements I've mentioned. And then after that, then you'll need to also apply or register your farm with the, with the Environment Institute of Kenya. That is the EIK. This is a professional body for environmentalists or environmental experts. And then you will also need to apply for a practicing license. A farm or a company cannot practice without a practicing license. All these processes are online. And like I said, we did these videos and you just need to watch them. Use the same same procedure, but this time you're applying for a farm expert, farm of experts, sorry. And so that's all. That is the basics of a farm of experts. 
then this way you can be able to use your name or your company name to apply for bigger jobs, bigger environmental assessments and environmental audit jobs. You can be able to apply for tenders. You can uh, be able to do so much more when you form a company than even when you're, you're practicing as an individual. You, if you enjoyed this video or you like more information on a farm of experts or how to register an environmental company, hit me up in the notification box. In the description box, I've left my email addresses. I've left down my social media handles. Then let me know how I can assist you. And then I will assist where I can. And so till the next video, bye.